hey 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 what's up my friend welcome to another youtube tutorial where today i'm going to be showing you how i managed to get this image to look exactly like this yep we're going to be going through step by step how to get um, the image to look exactly like this so yep if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please hit the subscribe button ping hit the bell notification button and also like my video and also share this video with anybody you think that might need it with that being said let's go straight into the tutorial so i already have my image opened i'm going to leave a link in the description where you'll be able to download this image with um, any other resource that we are going to be using for this particular tutorial yep so now the first thing i do is i'm going to duplicate my image then after that i'm going to crop my image now i i prefer i always like to crop my image to by using the 4 by 5 ratio then i'll just press ok now the next thing i have to do is to make sure that these white edges are taken away and then I'll, I'm going to be doing that by using the, the content aware tool. So I'll first of all just select my use my selection tool to select the edges. And I'll select this side too. I'll come to edit file. Then I'll make sure my content aware is selected. Then I press OK. Then I'll allow Photoshop to do its magic. Magic magic and boom there we have it now the white edges have been taken away now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to be changing the background but this time around i'm not going to be doing the whole process of cutting my image out and then putting in another background and all that thing i'm just going to bring in an image i an image i got to complement this particular photo very well so i just downloaded it i'll be leaving that image to in the description in the link in the description so you can just download it and use it um so let me just go to my pc i'll drag my image and i'll put it here then i'll enlarge it i'll make sure the image fills the entire photo just like this So now I'm going to change the blending mode of this particular um, background to overlay. Voila, as you can see, down the image even looks more um, appealing than when it had its own raw background. If I turn it off and I turn it on, you can see the difference that it makes. So, but then. Another thing we have to do is that if I zoom in into the image, you'll notice that uh, parts of the new background that I've just put in it, it's showing or it's causing distraction to the skin and some parts of her clothes. So I am going to um, make sure that I clean those parts so that the image, so that the, her skin and the clothes she's wearing stands out. So how am i going to do that i'm going to create um a layer mask on this particular layer that's a background layer i just click my layer mask and then i'll make sure that the, the background color is black i mean the for the foreground color is black then make sure that the layer mask is selected select my brush tool make sure my um soft round brush is selected then I come to my image then I begin to just paint around the the models skin and her clothes so that I take away the I hide the background that I have placed it doesn't distract the model so I'll just paint I just make sure I paint it very carefully don't have to rush just paint it very 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 carefully 
and be aware of the edges whilst you paint don't let it look too obvious that something was done just paint paint ouch and go back just paint 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 just brush I don't know is it paint or brush I'm not sure well it's all the same thing brush paint brush paint brush paint just to remove we don't need the background interfering in our beautiful models skin and her clothes all what we ask the background to do is just make sure the original background looks more appealing that's all not to come and interfere in our models skin and her clothes yep so I'm almost done just brush around brush around brush around brush around just like that brush 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 around yep I'm done so now you can see that the the background the new background that I brought in is no more interfering in the models um, skin if I turn it off and on off and on now it stands on its own and the image is already looking very beautiful yeah but then we are not done now I'm going to what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to do a little bit of um, frequency separation to smoothen her skin and make her skin pop out a bit yeah so i'll just combine all the i'll combine the layers i have made so far just select both now I'll right click then i'll merge my layers just like that so now if i turn this layer off and on this is where we've got into so far off and on now this is the progress we've made so far then I already have my um, frequency separation action so I'll just start my frequency separation action then I'll select now the value of your radius will depend on your preference I would just prefer to use maybe an 8 or a 9 I'll just go with 9 I press my OK and boom then I want to presume that you already know how to use frequency separation if not um, just go through my youtube channel you would find um, tutorials where I spoke about frequency separation so I just select this this make sure sample all layers is unchecked 30 30 100 44 let me make it 30 or oh, 33 is okay then I'll zoom in again then I'll just um, brush around a little just to make sure that the skin is even and more more beautiful and pops out so I just brush around brush around now you don't need to, to, to do it too much just a little let me see before and after before and after yeah now what this does is that it helps you to blend your skin tones the highlights and all those things hide some it also helps you to hide some blemishes on the skin and a whole lot of stuff so I just blend try to make sure her knuckles are good just like this just like that just like that just like that just like that let me see how it looks before and after before and after Oops. just paint a little more 
I'm going to have face. Okay, I just do the. Brush, 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 brush around, brush around. Brush, brush around. Brush around. Now, also remember that in you don't necessarily have to do the same thing I'm doing. You can ma you can manipulate the picture to however you want it to look like. You know, there are always different ways of doing things. So I just continue to work on her face a little bit, not too much, just small, small, little, little, just like that. I think this is enough. Now you can go ahead and um, if your model has um, spots on her face, you can go ahead and remove them. but. Not to make the video too long, I will not be going through the whole process of removing spots and all that. So yeah, now we are done with frequency separation. If we if we check, let's see how it was before. This is before and after. Before and after. You can see that the shadows and then the highlights on her leg and her tie have blended in more smoothly and uniformly than before. If I turn it off and on, as you can see. Yep. Now the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding a little bit of gradient map to my um, image. I just want to use a gradient map to add more color and make the image look very appealing, more appealing. So I just go to my effects panel, select gradient map. Then I'll pick, I'll come to my presets, then I just try out the various colors that are available. Now this is why I said you can always manipulate the, the image to suit your preference. Now I just have to go through and look for a color that I think um, maybe this. Yeah, I'll go with this. Press OK. Then now I'm going to change my blending mode to soft light. And then I would reduce my opacity, reduce my opacity to maybe um, nine. Let me make it twelve. Yep, twelve looks okay. This looks okay, I think. Yep. Now after that. The next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding some 3D LUTs to my image. Um, so I just come to my effects again. Then I'll come to color lookup. Then I'll select. Um, let me try Kodak. This. Mm. Let me try another one again. Kodak 5, 2, 1, 8. Let me try this Kodak. Yeah, I think I'll prefer this because this it, it gives the image this hazy, um, smoky kind of feeling. So I think I'm going to go with this particular Kodak. Then um, I'll reduce my opacity. I don't want it to look too cozy and too smoky, too hazy. I just reduce it a bit, like this. I think this is okay. This is okay. Yep. Then I'll come again. Then I'll go to my effects panel. Now this time around, I want to add color balance. I want my image to have this bluish. I don't know, but I I like blue a lot, and I always want to have my image look or have this bluish feeling. So I just go to my highlights. Then I'll add a little blue. To my image um, I think this is okay let me see the before and after before and after yeah this looks okay for me I don't know but I feel like blue makes my image looks very unique you know especially if the model is wearing a white um, attire it makes the white look so beautiful 
so yeah i think this is okay now the next thing i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be adding a levels to the image now what does the levels do what the level does is that it helps you to blend the blacks and then the whites in your image so i'll just go whilst holding my alt key i'll come and press on this button this slide the, the slide at the far end i just hold my alt key on the keyboard then i'll click on this then i'll drag the slide to my right until i begin to see these patches of these dark patches in appear in the in the white this just enables me to know that i am overdoing my blacks and my whites so i'll just stop here I'm going to be doing the same thing to the other side so I just press on my alt then I'll slide it until I begin to see some reds in the image yeah then I stop now this is also to tell me that my whites are becoming too much so I just stop so then this looks a bit a little bit too overdone then what I'll do is I'll just reduce my opacity I reduce my opacity to maybe 70 70 looks okay I see my before and then see my after let me just let me still reduce it a bit to maybe 50 let's see how 50 looks yeah I think 50 looks cool mm -hmm. so I just go with my 50 now let's um, let me put all these things these um, color corrections in a group just select all control G on um, PC to group then let me see how it looked before and after